It's time for a new challenge. You can see lots of paper cups here. These come from a Guinness World Records cup challenge thing that I found in the charity shop again. So we've got 21 cups and the object is to make a stack pyramid of 654321 as quickly as you can. The rules say that you can only use one hand for it. Uh, and then there's another supplementary challenge, which is to make the biggest tower sort of go in one, two, reverse and stacking, they call it, don't they? reverse stacking, they call it. So sort of like that. And uh, we'll combine the two to see who wins. So we'll come up with a time for uh, actually making the pyramid. And then when we come to the stack, you've got 70 seconds to make the highest one that you can. And we'll take a second off the time for each level that you make. And uh, then we'll have a winner. Sounds complicated. It is, but bugger. I'm ready to start my 21 cup stack challenge. Carol's going to count me down on the stopwatch and I'm going right handed. So, ready, steady, go. It's harder doing it this way around than it was on the original challenge getting them out of the cup because you've got to turn it over so it adds a little bit of time onto it from our practice run the other night. Stop! So her time to beat is 36.08 seconds. Right, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, go! already. So I don't think you're as economical as I was, but I don't know. Stop trying to put me off and I'm still doing it. I'm not, I'm just commentating on the challenge. Done. Right. And Carol's time was 37.08. So exactly a second behind me. So that makes the next thing tactical and quite interesting. We'll be back. We're on to the second part of the challenge. And I've got a one second gap over Carol. So basically you've got to build an alternating tower like that but only using one hand. You've got 70 seconds to go as high as you want to go. It could get tactical because I could decide to stop at one point and then make Carol go too higher than me to actually win or one higher to draw or not, but we shall see. Are you ready to start the timer? Yep. When, whenever you're ready. Five, four, three... Two, one, go. I think the important thing is getting the lower levels nice and solid. Which I clearly didn't do very well there. Right, so that's three. Four. Doesn't help that our timer's third digit doesn't work very well. You just have to wait for the beeps to go off, that's when you've got to stop. Right, 
six. I think I might stop at that point because if I go for it, then I'm, I'm risking. Seven. Owls go at the stack in the cups. Because of the way that this has worked out so far, Carol has got to go one higher than me to draw or two higher to win, uh, which means she's got to do eight to draw or nine to win. Are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. That's two. Oh, it's already wobbly. I think I'm in safe uh, on safe space here. Three. There's never no way it's already going down the bottom. Three again. Up to four. Looks a bit precarious, the middle level there. Far, oh no, oh no. Oh, and it's down to nothing. I think you've got about 25 seconds left, 35 seconds, something like that. I don't know, I can't tell. As we said, our digit, third digit on our clock isn't very good. So where that's saying 15, 14, I'm not actually sure whether it is or whether it's 30 or 40 or something completely different. But I think we're actually into the last few seconds five four three two one yeah! <laughs> and, you, and you got zero so it's academic anyway so basically i win again i can't stack